Hopeful agreed and said, Now that I have shown you the reason for their backsliding, I ask that you show me the modus of his falling away. Hopeful gestured to Christian to continue. I will do so most willingly, Christian said, and he started to make his points one at a time, counting them off on his fingers. One, they draw most of their thoughts from the remembrance of God, death, and judgment to come. Two, then they gradually neglect private duties, such as personal prayer, curbing their lusts, watchfulness, sorrow for sin, and the like. Number three, then they shun the company of lively and wholehearted Christians. Number four, after that they grow cold to public duty, such as conscientious listening, reading of the word, godly corporate gathering, and the like. Number five, they then begin to find fault or pick holes, as we say, in the lives of some of the godly, so that they may claim religion is stained based on some weaknesses they have noticed in these believers and then they justify putting religion behind their backs. Number six, then they begin to adhere to and associate with carnal, immoral, and unrestrained men. Number seven, they give way to carnal and depraved conversations in secret, and they are glad if they can find similar practices in any who are considered reputable, for these hypocrites encourage them to be all the more bold. Number eight, after this, they begin to play with little sins openly, number nine. And then, being hardened, they show themselves as they are. Therefore, being flung again into the gulf of misery, unless a miracle of grace prevents it, they eternally perish in their own deception.